having entered all the information provided under the battery tab and the results tab you would come back to the test settings tab to start the test let's see what all information is provided under the test settings tab the test method selected here is constant current if you click on it you will see the other options you can pick the option that you want I'm just gonna stick to constant current here this is where you select the test current the test current would be based on the uh, discharge specification sheet of the battery model that you're trying to test it would depend on the duration for which you're planning to run the test and the end cell voltage let's just leave it at 30 amps this icon here corresponds to temperature compensation some standards provide uh, temperature correction factors uh, the, the standard selected here is IEEE 450 uh, and 1188 these are for lead acid batteries uh, there are two adjustment methods provided uh, rate adjustment method and time adjustment method time adjustment method is used uh, more commonly and that's what has been selected here you would enter the temperature of the battery here so if 30 Celsius is selected uh, based on the temperature selected there and the standard selected a t correction factor would come up here this correction factor would be used for the calculation of the percentage capacity at the end of the test click on the check mark to exit the window now let's go over these eight cells that have been provided here the exclamation mark sign that you see here is for warning the stop sign that you see here stands for uh, stop these eight cells provided here are limits the four cells in the first row are the warning limits the four cells in the second row are the stop limits the limits can be provided on the basis of four parameters battery voltage capacity the measurement time and the individual cell voltage now let's assume that we are setting values for testing a 48 volt battery bank these are some values which I have already entered here by clicking on these I turn on the limits or activate the limits now here based on the selections that I am I have made if the battery voltage drops below 45 volts during the test the torque would sound out a warning and if the battery voltage drops below 43.2 volts the torque would uh, stop the test or pause the test and ask me if I want to resume the test or if I want to save the test data and end the test similarly warning and stop limits can be uh, activated for uh, capacity or on the basis of capacity capacity or amp hours is basically current times the duration so if in this case if I'm drawing a current of 30 amps for a period of one hour at the end of the one hour duration the measured capacity would be 30 amps times one hour which is 30 amp hours so for a constant current test the amp hour uh, or the capacity increases linearly as time progresses on the basis of the limits that I have set here the torque would issue a warning when the capacity reaches 40 amp hours and um, it would stop the test when the capacity reaches 50 amp hours warning and stop limits can also be set on the basis of time uh, as per the values that I have selected here uh, when the test duration reaches the one hour 50 minute mark the torque would sound out a warning when the test duration crosses the two hour mark the torque would stop the test the fourth criterion on the basis of which limits can be set is the individual cell voltage individual cell voltages are monitored through BVMs so if you are not using BVMs then these limits cannot be activated on the basis of the values that I have entered here if any of the individual cell voltages drops below 1.8 volts uh, the torque would again sound out a warning 
and I would be able to see uh, which cell voltages are are uh, are low. Similarly, if any of these cell voltages drops below the 1.2 volt mark, then the torque would stop the test and uh, ask me if I want to resume or just save the test data and end the test. I would be able to see the battery voltage over here. Uh, so 52.8 volts is the uh, battery voltage um, that the instrument is seeing right now. Uh, it says that int and 0.0, .0 amps, int stands for internal, which means that uh, the current would be measured internally by the torque. Uh, the current is of course uh, 0 amps right now because I haven't started the test. When the BVMs are connected, uh, you will see this sign being displayed. It will show you the total number of BVMs that are logging data at the moment. The folder sign is to access uh, the data that, that's uh, in the Torkoal. Uh, the gears sign that you see here is for settings. And finally, the play button is uh, what you would need to hit to start the test. Thank you for watching this technical support video from Megger.